Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some Alice in Wonderland cookies. I'm basing myself on the cartoon and I'm going to be putting in my blog, which is going to be linked below, screenshots of the cookies that I'm referring to. Now, keep in mind, the actual scene is pretty fast, but this is my recreation of it. So I'm first time with my cookie dough recipe. I'm using a chocolate cookie dough recipe. This is one, it's delicious. You can use any flavor you like. And I do have a recipe on my channel if you want to check it out. Then to have like the same thickness in all my cookies, I'm using my rolling pin with my space bands. I do have the drill as well. This comes in handy because not only is it going to be faster for you to make all the cookies, they're going to be looking a bit more professional because they are going to be all the same thickness and they're going to be most likely all made at the same time. Once I have done that, I'm just going to take a bunch of cookie cutters. As I said before, the scene is pretty fast, but this is what I could see from the scene and from the screenshots that I have on my blog. And I did use some round cookie cutters, uh, square cookie cutters, and then um, a star cookie cutter. That's like one of the most that caught my attention the most when I saw that scene. But any kind of shape you like. And all my cookie cutters are from local places or online. Then I'm just going to let them cool once they are baked. And then I'm just going to be working on my royal icing. And for my royal icing, I do have a recipe. And it's on my channel if you want to check it out. I thought I would just start with this yellow try me cookie. It's pretty simple to make, actually. First, we're going to start with um, yellow royal icing. I'm using... A 20 consistency realizing for this and I'm using as well a Ziploc bag for this. I'm going to be working on the outline and once that's done I'm just going to fill the whole thing in. Before that dries I'm just going to be taking my needle tool or just a scribe tool. This is going to help you remove all the air bubbles and just help you distribute your icing evenly. If you don't have this I do have a DIY on my channel but if you don't feel like doing anything you can use a toothpick as well. This tool though is a bit more convenient, well a lot more convenient because it's more fine than a toothpick and a toothpick you're going to most likely just use it once and then you just have to throw it away as a, in this one you just have to wash it and reuse it. Now before my uh, jello royal icing dries I'm just going to take my white royal icing and I'm going to add three lines going from one side to the other. This technique is called wet on wet technique because you are adding uh, wet realizing on top of wet realizing and then I'm just going to add other three lines but from the other side. The easiest way that I find to add lines is just not drag your icing through the cookie, lift your arm or your hand with your realizing just a bit so what follows is your icing and not your Ziploc bag if you're using one. I'm just going to let it cross. I'm just going to go ahead and apply or add, you know, beads or just dots. And I'm just adding three per, I guess, group of lines. But since I don't want them to blend, I'm just going to start by adding two, kind of the ones that go on each side. Once those are dry, I'm just going to go in the middle part and I'm just going to complete this whole thing by adding the third one. Then it's time for me to um, finish the whole thing by just adding the try me sign. So I'm just going to start with the R on the try because the R goes in the middle part so I just wanted my sign to be somewhat in the middle and then to my left goes uh, the T and I'm using black realizing for this one and then the rest of the word and then I'm just going to go with my scribe tool and kind of smooth all the peaks and things that my icing might have just to make everything just smooth. And then I'm just going to go with my me and I'm just going to place it on the bottom part in there. Then just have to let it dry and this is it for this cookie. Let's move on to this gorgeous Eat Me uh, star shaped cookie. So for the start, I'm just going to start with the outline and I'm using purple and I'm again, I'm just working with my Ziploc bag. As you can see, I have the Eat Me already in there, but I removed it later because I realized my letters were just too small. So I just removed them later, you're going to see. Then once I have done that, and as you can see, I've removed already my Eat Me letters. I do have a tutorial or just a video on showing you if this, you make this kind of mistakes, how can you remove your realizing? But then I'm just going to go back to my purple realizing. I'm just going to write, eat me again. Make your cookies a lot bigger than what you think you actually need them. Why? Because we're not going to fill the letters themselves. We're just going to, again, make the outline. We're going to be filling the cookie itself. 
And if you're not sure of, like, if you're going to have enough space, just practice on a piece of paper. Just draw a star and just draw your EDME lettering so you know how much space you need. doesn't have to be perfect, but make it look like it's written eat me in there. And then once that's that, I'm just going to go to fill my, not the letters themselves, but the rest of the cookie, as I mentioned before. And I'm just going to be working by parts. First, one like side of the, you know, the star, smoothing the whole thing with my scrub tool, and then going to another one. Just keep in mind, realizing dries fairly fast, so just work in pieces, work in parts, um, apply icing, and then just quickly go with your scribe tool. I have to say this cookie is one of the most challenging cookies I've done so far. It's pretty rewarding because the final result I loved, and it was, you know, everybody the favorite from the whole bunch. And to get into those letters, you just have to, again, apply your realizing and just help yourself by using your scribe tool. And then I'm just going to let it dry for a few hours and then I'm just going to work on my outlines and all that stuff for my letters, doing the same thing, following all the lines. And then I'm just going to outline the whole cookie. Pretty much doing the same thing that I did before, but this time on top of my already dried cookie. Once they are dry, I'm just going to be taking my clear gold and this is kind of a luster dust. And I'm just going to be adding some... Uh, sparkle in there. So I'm just going to be mixing it with a few drops of almond extract. Actually, you can use alcohol, but I prefer to use almond extract. And then I'm just going to mix it with my brush. I'm trying to work somewhat fast because my almond extract does kind of evaporate easily and real fast, so you just have to take that in consideration, keep that in mind, and apply it two coats of that. And then I just let it dry, let it set, and this is it for the star cookie. Now it's time for my pink Eat Me cookie. For this one, I used some pink gel food coloring from the same brand, Amer Colors. And I did exactly the same thing as in the yellow one, first working on the outline and the filling. And then before it dries, I'm just going to go with this custom color that I made by mixing some pink and some, actually some brown to make this color. And I'm using the same technique as the wet on the wet technique to just write the Eat Me sign again. And then I, once that was done, I just went over the Eat Me sign and just made it, you know, pop up a bit more, going on top of the, the letters and just write the whole thing again. And then because my cookie cutter had this uh, details on the edge of the cookie, I just went with my pink realizing and just applied some beads or just some details on the edge. And that's pretty much it for this cookie. Here comes my last design, which is kind of my least favorite. I'm not going to get really into the detail because I ended up not liking it as much. And this is it for the cookies themselves. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know if you like the cartoon itself. And let me know which one is your favorite character. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this one and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And it was a pleasure for me to make this video. I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you later.